Many people with COVID-19 have mild or even no symptoms, but can still spread the virus. With regular self-testing, we can slow the spread and help protect the most vulnerable in our families and communities. Please read the instructions in your kit before you take the test, as they may vary slightly depending on the model. Prepare yourself for the test. Make sure you haven't had anything to eat or drink in the last 30 minutes. If you have, you should wait until 30 minutes have passed before doing the test. You're going to swab your throat and your nose. If you've had a nosebleed within the last 24 hours, swab the other nostril or wait 24 hours. If you have a nose piercing, swab the other nostril. If you have a piercing on both sides, remove the piercing on the side you're going to swab. Make sure you use a separate test kit for each person. Use the items in the test kit once only. You cannot reuse them. If there is a reason you cannot take a throat swab, such as you've had a tracheostomy, swab both nostrils instead. Prepare your test area. First, clear, clean and dry a flat surface to place the test kit on. Wash your hands for 20 seconds using soap and warm water or use hand sanitizer. Now, dry your hands. Your kit should have these six items. A swab inside a sealed wrapper. An extraction tube holder. An extraction tube. An extraction buffer sachet. The test strip. And a waste bag. If you're doing more than one test, either for yourself or for someone else, ensure you clean the surface and wash or sanitize your hands between each test. Set up the test. Take the test strip out of the foil pack and place it on the clean, flat surface. Once opened, start the test within 30 minutes. Carefully twist or snap open the extraction buffer sachet, being careful not to spill any of the fluid. Now open the extraction tube and pour in all the fluid. Close the extraction tube cap and place the filled tube in the extraction tube holder. Before you take the sample, blow your nose. Wash and dry your hands again or sanitize them. Remove the swab from the packet. Make sure you do not touch the soft part of the swab. Take the swab sample. Most people find this a bit uncomfortable. This is totally normal. If you've had your tonsils removed, do this where your tonsils would have been. It is important that the fabric end of the swab does not touch your teeth, tongue or gums. Holding the swab between your fingers, open your mouth wide and rub the fabric tip over both tonsils or over where your tonsils would have been if you've had them removed. Do this firmly four times on each side. Use a mirror to help you do this correctly. Remove the swab carefully without touching your teeth, tongue or gums. Using the same swab as you did in your mouth, you now need to swab the inside of your nose. If you can't swab your child's throat, you can do both nostrils. Making sure you don't touch any other part of your face, insert the same swab inside of your nostril until you feel resistance. This is about an inch in an adult, it will be less in a child. Roll the swab firmly inside of the nostril, making 10 complete circles. Remember, it's really important that the fabric tip doesn't touch anything apart from the inside of your throat and nose. Process the swab sample. Pick up the extraction tube, open the lid, and place the fabric tip of the swab in the tube so that it is in the fluid. Press the tip against the edge of the extraction tube with force whilst rolling it around the tube for 15 seconds. It is important to mix thoroughly. Pinch the tube as you remove the swab to make sure that all the fluid is removed. Press the nozzle cap tightly onto the extraction tube to avoid any leaks. 
gently squeeze the extraction tube to place two drops of fluid on the specimen well marked S on the test strip. Make sure that you are dropping fluid and not an air bubble. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Make sure the test strip is left flat on a clean surface. Read your result. It is important to wait 30 minutes before you read your results. You'll see one line in the test after 20 or so minutes, but you must wait 30 minutes to find out your proper result. If after 30 minutes you still only have one line next to C, your result is negative. If you have two lines, then your result is positive. If your result is positive, you and your household must self-isolate following government guidelines. If you do not have any lines or just one line at the bottom of the display at T, then your test is invalid. After an invalid test, you must take another test. Make sure you follow the instructions carefully when you take another test. Negative results do not rule out a COVID-19 infection, particularly in the early stages of infection. If you have had recent exposure to potentially infected individuals, along with any symptoms consistent with COVID-19, you should seek medical advice, even with a negative test. Report your result. It's really important that you report a positive result to the NHS. You should also report negative and invalid results. This allows the NHS to monitor the spread of the virus, support communities across the UK, combat the virus and save lives. You can also find out more about the result and what you need to do. You can report your result online at www.gov.uk forward slash report COVID-19 result. Once your test is complete, place all the used test kit contents in the waste bag provided and place in your household waste.